this is Paola. And hello, this is Thomas. And welcome to our series of 10 tips. This one is the first one in the series called 10 Tips for Emotionally Recharging. We got inspired to do this from a meditation course we did last week. And we thought it was very beneficial and we wanted to share this information with you. First one is exercise. Doing any type of aerobic activity, swimming, yoga, running, jogging, pilates, power walking, etc. assists you to feel good about yourself and also releases energy and revitalizes you. To get physical is great for the heart. It opens you up in so many levels and recharges your body, mind and spirit. They say that you need to three to four times a week duration of 40 to 60 minutes. The second one is uh, deep belly laughing. How good do you feel after you've watched a comedy? This too is a great energizer emotionally and it releases built up emotions that you may not know are still manifesting in your body temple. Mm -hmm. Smiling is so simple and this opens you up too. It recharges yourself as you seek connection with nature or others. Quick example of a deep belly laugh is. Okay. What's your third one, oh sweetie? Oh my goodness! The next one is taking a bath. This one is so easy to do. Fill up your tub with your favorite oils, flowers, salts and then submerge your body. Ensure you get your shoulders and your neck down to the water level as much as possible and relax. This say that this helps you emotionally rebalance yourself and imagine any stress washing away. Burn smelly so uh, salts or oh, sorry any smelly candles and relax. You can run the bath for about an hour. It is recommended for an hour and if, if you feel lightheaded you need to lie down afterwards and start slowly, maybe 30 minutes and then build up to the hour. Okay, let's come to number four. It's being in nature. Being out connecting with your environment is very therapeutic. This could be just working in your garden, going for a bush walk, walking along the beach, mm -hmm. feeling the nature around you rela mm -hmm. just relaxes your body and recharges you. Notice those little details next time you're out. The colors of the flowers, the details of the trees, the sound of the waves. That's lovely. That's great. Next one is taking a nap. I actually just did this before we oh. came on. So I've got a sleepy face. And this does wonders for your energy levels and great for recharging. Even a 10 to 15 minute nap can be very beneficial. It gives you energy for later and energizes the mind. Lying down releases any anxieties as it activates uh, a gland which is located in the back of your head. Okay, coming to number six on the list. Go on a detox. Consider taking time to detox your body and mind. Go without alcohol, caffeine, meat and diary. Minimize your sugar and increase raw organic vegetables and water intake. This is great for flushing out your system, your liver, your skin, and keeps you revitalized and balanced. Something we should do for sure. Absolutely. Acupuncture is the next one. This works on restoring harmony and balance to your body. Through activating certain meridians, the therapist can restore harmony in your body temple. It's effective in treating many ailments and it's used in pain control, anxiety management, emotional rebalancing, just to name a few. And the next one, number eight, dancing. Something I'm not very good at. <laughs> <laughs> but hearing the music you like really changes your state and recharges you from the inside out. Dancing is a great form of release and fun. Mm. You surround yourself with movement and releasing energy. Kids love it, adults enjoy it, as long as they can dance. <laughs> <laughs> Just often, often we are very conscious 
too conscious how we look and we don't let it flow. So next time you go dancing, pretend no one is watching. That's right, no one is watching. Yes. And that leads us to singing out loud. How good do you feel if you sing in the shower each morning? Fantastic. Or if you sing in a choir or just on your own aloud. This is another form of therapy that emotionally recharges you. So enjoy singing to yourself or others. It puts a smile on your face and makes you feel good. And if you're like me, do it in the shower. No one listens to it. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us to number 10. Writing in your journal. Write down your thoughts can be very beneficial in releasing emotions. Thoughts, and thus they are not accumulating in your body. Mm. They have been vented out and you're no longer carrying them with you. Good for self-reflection and focusing on goals and positive action. Right. You can also draw, use different color pens to add dimensions and creativity to it. Good for recharging your mind. So here are our top 10 tips. Just recapping, we've got exercise, deep belly laughing, taking a bath, being in nature, taking a nap, going on a detox, acupuncture, dancing and writing on your journal. Of course there's many other ways you can recharge but those are our top 10 tips and hope you enjoy them. This is Paula and, and Thomas and until the next time with our next 10 tips.